Every day, drones are improving lives, optimizing operations, and transforming societies. But a small portion of operators are causing chaos, endangering lives, and posing a threat to safety and national security. Traditional counter UAS solutions are often not suitable as the sole component of a counter UAS strategy. They can interfere with communications and authorized drones and cause collateral damage or even fail to detect the threat. DFAN Solutions focuses on the real threat. Dangerous drones that can carry heavy payloads, travel long distances, and are readily accessible. In Force Air, Defense Solutions' flagship counter drone solution protects military, public safety, airport, border, VIP, prison, major event, and critical infrastructure environments. It has been deployed hundreds of times worldwide. Enforce Air features radio frequency cyber takeover technology. It automatically detects, locates, and identifies rogue drones and their pilots, and then mitigates the drone. Enforce Air is set up quickly. The hardware is compact and can be rapidly disassembled, moved, and reassembled for operational flexibility. As soon as rogue drones enter the protected area, they are detected and an alert is immediately activated. Their unique communication identifiers are extracted and the takeoff location is discovered. Enforce Air's unique takeover technology automatically takes control and operators lose their communication signals. They cannot control their drones or renew contact. Authorized drones in the area are unaffected. The rogue drones are sent along their designated route, ending in a safe landing. A safe outcome is achieved without disrupting the continuity of communications, commerce, transportation, or everyday life. Defend Solutions constantly develops new capabilities to always stay a drone threat ahead. Hello, my name is Martin Broomhead and I'm the UK General Manager for Defence Solutions. In this brief presentation, I will discuss elements of the drone threat facing the military, explain the limitations of traditional counter drone solutions and highlight how our cyber takeover technology will empower you to take complete control of rogue drones and the instant life cycle. So who are Defence Solutions? Well, we're a company that has quickly ascended to become the global leader within the counter drone cyber takeover technology space. We have hundreds of our Enforce Air counter UAS systems operationally deployed across five continents, including locations such as major international airports, forward operating military bases, high profile national borders and seaports. Defend Solutions' talented team is comprised of experts with extensive experience in air defense, electronic warfare, uh, cyber security, uh, and including people from elite military intelligence technology units. In 2020, we tripled our size of our installed base, intensified sales in Europe, and added five executives to our senior management team. We now employ over 140 people worldwide, uh, many of you will already know us, of course, as we're currently working with several major organisations here in the UK, some of whom I'm sure will be attending this conference. So let's take a look at the threat across the environments. Here we have uh, some illustrative uh, videos uh, available on YouTube um, that just highlight some of the, the, the threat that is out there. In August 2020, a drone uh, delayed the Red Sox game with the Tampa Bay Rays at Fenway Park. The players and umpires had to walk off the field and the game was delayed until the drone flew away. A low level but nuisance uh, event. Uh, in May 2020, uh, it was with widespread disbelief at the footage posted online of the near miss incident between the US Blue uh, Navy Blue Angels and what's believed to be a small consumer quadcopter. In 2017, uh, an audacious criminal gang using drones equipped with fishing lines flew more than 500,000 pounds worth of contraband, including drugs and phones, into prisons across England and Scotland. And in 2017, whilst embedded with Iraq Special Forces, Ben Solomon of the New York Times 
was on the front lines in Mosul when the threat came from above, an ISIS drone dropping grenades. Unfortunately, we're seeing near constant drone incidents across many sectors, including asymmetrical warfare against conventional military forces. Affordability, easy, uh, easy to obtain drones can be used to assassinate conduct corporate espionage, sow mass terror, smuggle drugs into prison or across borders, disrupt major events, and pose dangers to airspace and airports. Drones are becoming more compact, faster, harder to detect, and more durable. Many can fly long distances and carry heavy payloads and are easy to operate, all of which poses a safety and security risk to nearly every type of environment. So let's look at a few of those environments. Uh, we're talking about military and special forces, law enforcement, first responders, air traffic control, uh, government, VIP, homeland security, maritime, borders, um, and right across landmark prisons, media and enterprise, stadiums, critical infrastructure, and local government, a considerable list. Military personnel understand the drone threat and have faced it for many years. Terror groups using commercial drones purchased online and transformed into remotely piloted bombs. We last saw this in places such as Iraq and Afghanistan. Since then, many other groups have used drones in asymmetrical warfare against conventional forces. But terror attacks are not just the full scope uh, of the drone threat to soldiers. Drones are also being used as an eye in the sky, collecting intelligence in, uh, on troop movements and military bases. Drones also threaten flight, the flight operations of military aircraft. Nefarious actors can easily obtain sophisticated high-tech drones online. These drones can carry significant payloads, travel long distances, and so pose a serious threat. Continuing on from the previous slide, it's important to ensure a counter drone system can first and foremost uh, deal with the most dangerous and accessible drones. Not all drones pose an equal threat uh, from a military perspective. The focus should be on the most prevalent, dangerous drones capable of carrying heavy payloads, traveling long distances, and withstanding adverse weather conditions. These, uh, there are many types of drones, some of which may pose little or no operational threat. At DEFEND, we understand how important it is for a counter UES solution to categorize and prioritize the threat posed by each classification of drone and deal with them accordingly, such as long range and DIY heavy payload drones, capable of flying several kilometers and carrying significant payloads, commercially available or home built from off the shelf parts that utilize long distance radio communications to fly longer distances while transmitting telemetry and high resolution video back to their remote control. It's important to note that these drones make up 80% of the commercial market. Shorter range Wi-Fi drones are usually small controlled via and controlled via a smartphone app. Uh, due to the limitations of Wi-Fi, these drones can fly for only a few hundred meters. These types of drones are usually considered to be lower threat due to their limited range, small size, and inability to carry a substantial uh, type of payload, but they can still threaten operational security. Again, at Defence Solutions, we recognise that traditional technologies have a role to play in a layered defence strategy, but struggle in urban and sensitive environments. During detection, radars are often have trouble uh, being used as the main drone component in differentiating between small drones uh, and other flying objects, generating a high rate of false alarms, whilst they're also complicated to use. Electro-optical solutions can uh, be effective uh, where you have a clear line of sight, which is often not the case in an urban environment. Use of acoustic solutions um, is generally ineffective in a noisy radio frequency saturated environment. 
Jamming based mitigation solutions emit large amounts of energy to block drones control signals, which is likely to disrupt other radio and mobile phone signals, including time critical incident control uh, communications. Also, jamming solutions do not allow for the full control of the drone. Uh, the hostile pilot may regain control of the drone once the jamming stops, for instance. Kinetic solutions, whilst uh, which involve uh, sorry, shooting down the, uh, a, a, a drone, run the high risk of injury and collateral damage, especially in urban, urban scenarios. Well, some military units are using counter drone technologies uh, that prevent them from obtaining the intelligence captured by the UAV. Um, Kinetic counter drone solutions risk losing this intelligence by destroying the drone. Sensitive environments require a next generation anti drone defense system. So, an RF in detection, an RF uh, cyber detection, where you expect the outcome to be fast and accurate detection, no false positives, and no line of sight required. For mitigation, you require an RF cyber take takeover technology. The outcome you desire is to disconnect and take control of the drone. It's a safe route to a safe landing. The total continuity, and what I mean by that is no communication disruption, collateral damage or stoppages. Enforce Air by Defence Solutions is our operationally proven flagship counter UAS product, featuring our world leading counter drone software defined radio cyber takeover technology. Our system operates in either autonomous or manual mode to detect, locate and track drones in your airspace. Enforce Air will take control over the drone and land it in a safe, uh, land it safely in a predefined landing point. Enforce Air does not jam signals, it does not use kinetic force and it does not require line of sight to operate. So Enforce Air by Defend is a non-jamming, non-kinetic technology that does not require line of sight. It will not interfere with other, uh, other transmitting equipment and making it ideal for environments, including sensitive and complex urban sites. The Enforce Air counter UA system will passively detect, track and identify rogue drones of interest, whilst also indicating the location of pilots. This information could be passed to the military intelligence, enabling them to target the perpetrator and pretend, uh, prevent further incident. On this slide, we can see from the left, uh, Defend Solutions' unique full incident lifecycle management capability. From detect and alert, the system passively detects drones out to a radius of several kilometers. Locate and track, the real-time location and tracking using exact GPS location of the drone via its public beacon telemetry signal. It can classify the drone. Defend provides the drone with a unique communication identifier and creates a tail number, allowing the drone to be tagged friendly or hostile and dealt with accordingly. Discovering the pilot's position and identification. The system will display the takeoff position with GPS accuracy and then track the pilot's movements. All of these actions are conducted autonomously and passively by the Enforce Air system. For mitigation, we have fend off uh, the system disc where the system disconnects the control signal between the drone and the pilot, causing the drone to activate its lost signal protocol or road return to home protocol. The other option is to take control and land by transmitting a short control signal. The system takes control of the drone uh, and routes it to a safe landing point via a predefined safe route. Enforce Air is totally passive during detection, track and identification, avoiding the risk of exposing military units to DF targeting systems. Multiple protection alert zones can be set up across a wide area of interest. Military intelligence can exploit the captured drone data, such as the drone types and that are frequently attacking them, the launch locations and the drone camera footage. Enforce Air provides a rogue, uh, a rogue drone's home point takeoff position with GPS accuracy whilst the drone is still in the midair, uh, indicates the drone's pilot's position and remote controller location during takeoff. 
Military units are increasingly using authorised drones to help them on the battlefield. During the mitigation process, the Enforce Air system will not affect authorised drones, who which will continue to function without interruption. The Enforce Air provides a high degree of operational flexibility. Its core components can be easily transferred, mounted and reconfigured within a matter of minutes, providing an ability for to move anywhere at any time. Our military vehicle kit offers a moving bubble of protection so that forces can enjoy full mobility. Defence Solutions Ground Level Tactical Kit provides complete support to ground forces with full omnidirectional coverage. With hundreds of deployments and thousands of operational hours, all of the deployed options are operationally tested and proven. The Multiple Sensor Command and Control or MSC2. To connect Enforce Air systems across multiple and different locations, the multiple sensor command and control or MSC2 system can be connected via a data network link to each of the dispersed Enforce Air systems. This enables the central management, configuration and operation of multiple Enforce Air units as one consolidated view. The Enforce Air MSC2 software runs on an Enforce Air central server, is managed and uh, to manage the mitigation process and automatically designates the best sensor to defeat each hostile drone. Because our system does not rely on jammers or kinetic technology, it avoids collateral damage, interference, disruption, or disturbance. Enforce Air transmits a low power short control signal to take control of hostile drones and so continuity prevails as communications, commerce and everyday life remain unaffected. Defence Solutions is committed to staying a drone threat ahead. We are continually developing new capabilities to stay ahead and anticipate the most unpredictable drone challenges and proactively building the next generation optimal solutions to defend against tomorrow's threat. Continuous software updates result in an up-to-date response to new drone models and DIY radio components. The FEN solution takes on this challenge by bringing together all the necessary competencies and by employing an extensive team of R&D experts with wide cross-domain and real-world experience. Our team possesses advanced skill sets and a real passion for, command, uh, for counter drone threat reaction and response. The four core concepts that guide defense product development and implementation, as well as the way we service our customers are a good way to recap the main themes of this presentation. These are control, safety, focus and future. Control, the best way to control a drone, uh, drone threat is to take control of the drone. Safety, a safe landing or fending off of the road drone is the best possible outcome for safe airspace and continuity. Focus, counter drone measures must focus on the real risk of the most dangerous drones and employ drone risk analysis assessment and prioritization. And the future, the constantly changing and increasingly complex drone threat requires foreseeing the drone future and always staying a drone threat ahead. So thank you very much for your time and attention and it's been an honour to speak to such an important event. Our takeover counter drone technology is already helping several of the organisations in attendance and we look forward to helping many more and until then thank you for your time and I hope to speak to you soon. Hey, thank you, Martin, and, and many thanks to Defense Solutions for uh, the sponsorship and the presentation today. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got time for a question, maybe two, if we can squeeze them in in an effort to get back on uh, time here. Um, can you talk about, especially following up the closing comments there, um, what, what are some of the uh, solutions that you all are working towards regarding uh, swarm capability? Um, you know, greater than five, greater than 10 uh, platforms uh, at any given time uh, in an effort to um, uh, determine or to solve the uh, cyber challenges that may exist as well. 
That's and, um, uh, and and David, thank you for the welcome. Um, that's a that's a really good question. We uh, we're already there, to be honest. Uh, we are our system already um, detects, tracks, and uh, mitigates uh, swarm threats. Um, and you know, I'd be delighted to discuss that in more detail with uh, with anybody that wanted to uh, yeah to reach out to us and um, and uh, get further information. But um, yeah, we are already very aware. Uh, very on top of and can control, track, and mitigate th uh, swarm threats. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, a second question, and uh, and then we'll turn it over to you for uh, closing comments. Um, reference uh, the various environments, and uh, was discussed by some of the earlier presenters. Um, whether it's in an urban environment, a desert, open open terrain, or what have you, um, you, you discuss the uh, diver diverse uh, cross section of, uh, of sectors and environments. Is is there a difference in how organizations operating in various environments would deploy their counter drone systems? Um, yeah, another another good question. So I think drone threats vary by mission, uh, by use case, and certainly by environment. Uh, so forces and their organisations responsible for counter UAS must clearly carefully evaluate their, their needs. Uh, in many cases, it's best to preserve flexibility and agility, uh, and since the uh, the drone threat is is an unpredictable one. Um, I think uh, what I would, uh, I suppose, where I position defend solutions and enforce air is as the, um, the you know the, the first line of defence. So where, the base system. So if you think about um, uh, commercial drones being about ninety five percent of the threat that's currently out there at the moment, then you can imagine that you can get a a, a, um, a counter drone solution on the ground quickly, effectively, uh, and at a uh, a good at a good cost point uh, to get uh, your counter drone solution up and running. Um, I think you know, we recognize uh, as you know, all counter UAS organizations do that you know, one, no one solution is the complete, uh, the complete package. Uh, and so where the, uh, the threat is such uh, high you know, in high air military environments, you might want to look at that last 5%. Um, that's where other uh, uh, you know, uh, effectors, uh, sorry, other um, sensors come into effect like radars. Uh, and, you know, we've, we can certainly work very closely with those. In fact, our API interface uh, allows us to do that very quickly and very effectively. So we see ourselves very much as part of a solution, but very much, you know, the first solution on the ground uh, and that can uh, give a good level of counter drone uh, capability very quickly and effectively. <laughs> 